Welcome back to Cocktails with Olga. Um, and today we are making a classic and one that is familiar to many, I think. What I didn't realize is also how simple it was. And the cocktail we are making is a uh, national cocktail of Cuba, Daiquiri. And apparently it's a three ingredient cocktail. Uh, you need white rum. And since it's a Cuban cocktail, I thought it's only appropriate to take Havana Club. Uh, you need simple syrup. So that's the one I just keep in the fridge. It's equal measure of sugar versus water, and dissolved and chilled. And lime juice. And this is it. This is all you need. Uh, unfortunately, that also means it's one of those cocktails where there is no one measurement proportion. So you need to figure out what suits you best. If you like it a bit more sour, of course, you just scale down on uh, syrup. If you like it a little bit sweeter, scale down on juice or just add a little bit more um, of the syrup. Well, we're just gonna try and see. Uh, as usual, this is a cocktail I haven't done before, so we'll have to discover. Uh, we're gonna do three quarters of um, lime juice. There we go. I'm gonna go quite gentle with the syrup. So we're only gonna do a um, quarter of an ounce. We go. And what I remember from our trip to Cuba is that they were always very generous with rum. <laughs> That's when we found out that alcohols can be very, very boozy. So two ounces. Again, if you want to try and make it equal measures, why not? But this is a classic recipe. There are also many other versions of daiquiri. Uh, daiquiri was made famous by Hemingway and there is even a version. Uh, made in his name that is uh, quite different, but for now, the classic diaper. Ah, 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 nice and cold. I've got a um, chilled glass. It's very hot today, so uh, the seal is really, really good. Yeah, there we go. And since it has juice in there, uh, we're gonna double strain to have it nice and clear. And here we are, classic daiquiri, um, created in Cuba, made popular in Cuba. Uh, doesn't require any decoration traditionally. So I would say it's perfect for making at home. It's great. It's refreshing. It's... Somebody may say it lacks complexity because uh, there are not that many flavors, but I like this elegance and simplicity in it. You taste rum and that just adds this little extra to it, which makes it different from similar cocktails made with gin and whiskey. As you've seen, super easy to make wine. Why not try in these hot days of summer? Cheers.